channel if you're new here consider tapping that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and if you've been rocking with me for a minute what's up what's good and welcome back so today's small talk saturdays small talk saturdays is a special time on my channel where we get to just discuss different things that are important to us so let's just jump right in okay as some of you know i have a new format for small talk saturdays i'm styling here while chit chatting with you all and today we'll be discussing some free ways you can support your favorite youtubers also i have four different wigs from sensational's curls kinks and co collection two of these wigs i've definitely been sitting on there's been a lot of chitter chatter about them and i'm hearing like a mixed bag of things more bad than good i was trying not to watch people's reviews because i didn't want to get too tainted about the wigs but we'll see head turner and wild one we'll see what i can do with them <laughs> i be feeling like i have a green thumb when it comes to wigs so let's see i don't know but let's start with this baby right here we have sensational angel face in the color number two typical cap construction your two combs in the front as you saw comb in the back it's a lace front wig. And if you don't know, the Curls Kinks & Co collection is their natural textured collection for hair textures between 3B and 4C. And I've seen this collection come quite a way from when I did, what was that, Sensational Boss Lady? Whew, that, that wig was cute, but it was rough. But I see they've made some improvements over time and I'm all the way here for it. Diving right into the pros of Miss Angel Face. Y'all, y'all y'all see me? Angel Face is absolutely gorgeous. And I knew I was gonna love her because I've seen my wig base slay her. I mean, I, I love these effortless barrel curls that just cascade down my body. They are long, so they definitely come to my breast area. Probably like a good 24 inches on my 5'3 frame. And also y'all, some websites will put the inches of the wig. It, it's not all the time, but sometimes they do. So if you ever wanna know the exact inches, you should check the website and see if they have it up there. I know I've seen, I'm pretty sure I've seen either Sensation or outre put the hair length on the website for some wigs. But yes, y'all, these flips, these curls, these layers. Oh my goodness, this is, this is bomb.com. And she's under $30. Like for real? For real sensational, this is how we're coming to the table? This is how we're coming to the Thanksgiving table? Look at this, the hairline is something real slight. I actually used my brown eyebrow pencil to fill in the lace a little bit because for my complexion, that works. I do that sometimes because it works and it helps with blending along the hairline for me as a very dark skinned woman. And I know y'all also saw me use my tried and true over here, my CoverGirl True Blend. All these items are linked down below in the description box. So if you're interested in them, check them out. But I just feel like, oh my God, I look so damn good. <laughs> Where is C? Because she needs to take me out. Let me know how you feel about Angel Face. I really have no more to say about her. The only con would be the shedding. I'm definitely getting quite a bit of shedding from her, but everything else about this wig totally makes up for it. I know for me, shedding is not necessarily a deal breaker, especially when dealing with synthetic wigs. If I love the wig, adore the wig, am obsessed with the wig, a little shedding won't hurt. Even if this wig was shedding like a lot, <laughs> I would still recommend her. holiday card December 2020 like that's what I'm getting right now oh my god angel face is that girl I see why my girls were praising her I need to I don't know where I'm gonna wear her but <laughs> she's a keeper so as far as ways to support your favorite youtubers for free very first thing is subscribing. Obviously when you subscribe, and not only subscribe, turn on your notifications, like you see here, when you click that bell, YouTube will notify you. Now I know sometimes it's a little bit iffy about the notifications, but I also read that the person themselves, like you have to make sure that you are allowing your phone to get YouTube notifications, period. If you don't allow your phone to receive them, it won't matter if the YouTube bell is turned on or not, you won't receive them. So make sure you change that setting in your phone, whether you are a Droid user, iPhone user, or whatever so that way you can see when your girl uploads and all your favorites you know what i'm saying we don't want you to miss this heat <laughs> 
Another very helpful way to support is to like and comment our videos. I can't stress that enough. YouTube has an algorithm. The way they determine which videos are pushed out and which ones are not is by your level of engagement. And engagement is pretty much calculated by likes, comments, and shares. YouTube calculates all that and it's all in our analytics. We can see that. And I've talked about analytics in a separate video. If you want to know more about analytics in depth, I'll link it down below. But y'all, we need that. That helps get our channels out there. Obviously, YouTube has millions, billions of channels. How are they gonna see little old me? Because of you. Especially for me, it just makes me feel good seeing really thoughtful comments. I have a few favorite comments and I screenshot them and save them because when I'm having a not so great day, I read those comments over again because it reminds me of why I'm here and why I'm doing something that I really love. You may think it doesn't matter because I know even myself have felt like, oh, this person's like a big YouTuber. Like they probably don't even read their comments. I don't see them responding to comments. But at least here on Is That Your Hair, I respond to my comments regularly within a decent time frame. So I read everything. I see everything that you say. Even the comments that are a little bit inappropriate. I see those too. <laughs> Some of them go to spam, but you know what I mean. So feel free, chat with your girl. I love to talk back to all of you. And trust me, your favorite YouTubers appreciate it too. Another thing that's extremely helpful as far as getting our videos out there is sharing. I can see how many people share a certain video and I can see which method they've shared it through, whether it be through Facebook, text message, I can see all that in my analytics. So it's just really nice when I know that certain videos are being shared because I'm like, okay, I'm actually, you know, making a difference to someone. Maybe my, they find my content entertaining or really valuable informational. That's what I'm going for here. So when y'all share it, more people can just know about my channel. And trust me, for a lot of your favorite YouTubers, that's what they want. They want to be shared, you know, because word of mouth is the best. In hair culture, when you're looking for a hairstylist, yes, we have things like Style C and maybe Facebook and other things that allow you to find a hairstylist. But back in the day, and still to this day, word of mouth, was how you got your business out there. People sharing your work, whether it be pictures of your work or just using their words to talk great things about you is how you got put out there. So the same applies to YouTube. So if you like what you see in this video, feel free to share with a friend. Trust me, I greatly appreciate it. All right, y'all, so we are going to move on to the next wig. Wild one or head turner? Wild one or head turner? I think we should go to wild one. All right, y'all, so next up I have is wild one. And I have wild one in the number two color as well. Stock car, she looks gorgeous. But I could tell that she was gonna be a lot of hair. And I feel like that's the issue people have. It's a lot of hair. And the curls, I guess, were an issue. I mean, they look cute from here, but they look a little too perfect for my taste. So we'll see what we got going on. Okay. I definitely see the issue here. This is not a toss on and go. And I'm, I'm detecting some filler hairs right here. Like why is this, yeah, why is this like this? This cap also feels a little bit big too. And the other cap was big too on um, Angel Face, which is great for my big head girls. Okay, I see the issue. <laughs> this area right here. Come on now, what, what's up with that? Let me just flatten it down first with my blow dryer. And this is my new blow dryer that I got, which I really like cause it's small, nifty and cute and it folds. You can also see like how light the lace is on me. So we're gonna cut a little bit closer to the hairline cause that's what I like to do. I like to cut close to the hairline when the lace is light, too light for me. I'm gonna use a marker and just fill this in. I ain't got time. So yeah, y'all, another way to support your favorite YouTubers, right? Is to watch ads. That is huge. That's how people make money on YouTube. Now I know sometimes it might get annoying, like seeing an ad pop up, you may just wanna skip it. Please do not skip the ad. Please do not skip the ad. You know why? Because if you skip that ad, we will not receive any money from it. And then that will affect our Google AdSense revenue, if that makes sense. Google AdSense is the method in which we get paid because Google owns YouTube, right? So that's how we get paid up on this platform. People have whole careers on YouTube and it's all because people are watching the ads on their videos. So when you see us mentioning every so often, hey y'all, please like watch the ad. We're not just saying it for shits and giggles. Like we really want you to watch it because <laughs> that is 
how we get more money to pour back into our channel. Because that's what it is for me. The money that I get from Google AdSense goes right back into Is That Your Hair in some type of way, whether it be me purchasing wigs or purchasing wig supplies or me like buying some clothes to wear on camera, which is something I definitely need to do soon because I'm wearing the same basic summer dresses. <laughs> And it is now going into winter, okay? So watch those ads, y'all. And for those of you who already know this and do watch it regularly, you're a godsend, seriously. It's super important, y'all. Literally, you can have a video that has 10,000 views, but if only 1,000 people watch the ad, you're only going to get paid for those 1,000 people that watch that, that ad. Yes, it's that serious. That is why we put multiple ads in our videos because we do wanna give you all different chances to watch the ads. And I know sometimes they OD and they'll try to put like a 10 minute ad on a video and I get it, like if you're not trying to stick around for that. But if you're just like cooking in your house or something, doing laundry, just let that little ad play, play on through. <laughs> Now, if you got something somewhere to go, somewhere to be, I understand you gotta skip it, but any little bit helps, for real. And if I'm not mistaken, you have to watch the whole ad, like the whole ad has to play. All right, y'all, so this hair is really interesting, but not really. The texture is pretty, but definitely because it's synthetic, expect it to tangle quite a bit over time. This is not beginner friendly in the slightest. So if you are a beginner, unless you got some time on your hands and you don't mind like raking through these curls, have at it. I do suggest finger combing. I just feel like I have more control over the way the curls turn out when I finger comb. If I use a paddle brush, you know, it, it, it varies. So I'm just gonna go in, style this some more and let some music play and I'll be right back with my thoughts. <laughs> So I am back with Wild One. Um, yeah, she's wild. <laughs> Y'all know that I love taking my scissors and cutting up these units, but right now I'm just honestly trying to catch the sun and I don't have time to do the full-on finesse that I would do because I would definitely trim some more of this. I would actually use my thinning shears that I have here. You can buy these really at any beauty supply store, but I'll put an Amazon link down below. And I would just trim some of the bulk out because I just don't, want her to be this density. I mean, I think she looks pretty once you do some work to her, but uh, I just want her to be just a tad bit less dense. I would say the pros of this unit uh, might be the fact that it's like a textured unit and the curls themselves are pretty, but cap construction is important to me and something funky was going on up here for me. That's why I shifted her to the middle at the side. I don't know, it felt more bulky to me when I I shifted her to the side. And it lessened a little bit after I used the blow dry up top, but I, I was sensing some filler hairs. Is it just me? I think I've only watched one person's review on this wig and I can't remember what they said right now, but <laughs> did y'all get that too? If y'all tried this wig, let me know. Um, Again, if you're a beginner, this is not the wig for you. If you like to finesse wigs like I do, this would be a nice cute little project. You know what I'm saying? I would definitely do a little bit more work to her to just make her more layered because I think she has potential, but right now I'm just not, uh, you know, I'm just not really feeling it. I kind of do want to make her work to the side, but I might just do that on my own time and see how I could make her look. Yeah, wild one, she's all right. She's going to take more work for me to actually like her. Straight out the pack, nah. Let's move on to head turn and then I'll tell you some more free ways to support your favorite YouTubers. All right, y'all, I'm back. It's nighttime, got the ring light on. Here with head turner and I have her in the T230 color. And shout outs to Sensational because this stock card model looks stunning. Angel face too, they both look so good. Angel face and wild one too, everyone looks so good on the stock card. But um, I don't know, people kept saying this wig was a catfish. I saw that a few times on YT. We'll see though. I mean, she looks cute out the pack to me. So let's see how she is when I toss her on. Oh 
Okay, so you know what? We have that same issue. Filler hairs all up and through the parting area. That is the worst. One of the key things to making a wig look natural has to do with how the parting area looks. And if it's full of filler hairs, that's not natural looking. Oh, that's just giving me more work to do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really feeling this style and color off the break. I actually think I'm gonna like this one better than Wild One. Let me apply some heat. All right, so I'm gonna actually start filling this in with a brown pencil, filling in the lace. But yes, y'all, more ways to support your favorite YouTubers for free. Participating in YouTube premieres is a great way to support because you're able to just interact one-on-one -on -one with other subscribers and the person that you're watching. I do premieres pretty often. I think it's a great way for me to like get to know the people that are subscribed to this channel. And I feel like I does feel like I know people. Like I see some of the same people coming to my premieres and I call it the premiere party because we just be having a damn good time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm here for the premieres. Definitely a great way to support. And I love going to other people's premieres too. It's just so much fun. I am getting some shedding with this one and I'm not sure if this is shedding from the wig or from the fact that I put heat on it. Maybe the heat was too high, I can't really, can't really, can't really tell. Now let's move on to Instagram. Ways you can support people on Instagram, your fave content creators. Definitely, of course, commenting and liking their posts because that tells Instagram that whatever they're putting out there, people actually like and want to see. And of course, who doesn't like seeing a nice comment on something that they created? You know, I know I, I love commentary from y'all and y'all are so kind on Instagram. So that, that really means a lot to me. Another great way to support is by sharing people's content on your IG stories. That makes a big deal because obviously that puts more eyes on that person's content. And when you're watching your favorite creator on Instagram, if they have a swipe up link, click swipe up. Even if you're not trying to buy the product, click swipe up anyway because it helps the person's analytics. And especially if it's a post that is sponsored by a company, you want that person to have good statistics so they can take it back to the company and you know negotiate or do whatever to work on another project with a company again. So. I like to swipe up on links. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Girl, what is it? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? You miss me? Yeah. I saw your hair on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought about you. Oh, really? Yeah. What you doing in the ear? Ain't shit. I just want to say hi. That was it. That was it. Don't come down soon. What? Bye. <laughs> so, yes, click that swipe up link, sis, because that helps people out tremendously. All right, y'all, I feel like this is coming together. This is pretty, but I, I see how the curls are like, I don't know, we're gonna figure this out. I'm gonna put a dab of got to be glue in the parting space. Just a dab. Now the style, oh, I'm getting a lot of shedding. Is this from the heat that I applied or is it just, I feel like this is from the heat. Maybe I put the heat up too much because this is, this is shedding quite a bit. And this is thick. That's another thing. This one is super thick. She's thicker than me. <laughs> Turner. This is another one of those wigs that would take more time in order for me to get her exactly the way I want her. To me, she requires quite a bit of customization that I'm just not in the mood for right now. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into the pros real quick. First pro out the gate to me is the color. I'm kind of weird about the 2T30 blend, but I think this looks really pretty on my skin tone. And one thing I love about 2T30 is that the root comes in 
like very dark towards the parting space but it blends out softly into the color which i think looks super nice and very natural love that about this type of blend the texture itself does feel very soft and that's one thing that i will give up to sensational compared to sensational boss lady we have come a ways <laughs> because that wig was a little rough but this feels way softer so i like that the curls out the pack are very pretty but it's like the more you kind of comb through it the bigger it becomes and the more i can see how it can become unruly for some so that's why i cut it because i i just if i was gonna make it through this review i had to cut some of this hair for real she's still very full so this is again another unit that i would go in with my shears to thin her out some and to make her more wearable for me i would not wear her out the house like this she needs to be thinned out quite a bit for me to be comfortable i would want to thin her out so that she is like this type of density does that make sense cause this unit is definitely just those filler hairs i don't like them i get why some older units have them because they had like a bang with some lift but why on earth do you have filler hairs over by the part of the space meanwhile angel face came nothing like that no filler hairs whatsoever angel face is perfection it's weird to me how wigs from the same line can turn out totally different but you're from the same line so i would think you would have like the same cap construction at least you know what i mean i don't get it now here are a few more ways for you to support your favorite content creators last few things on instagram if your favorite goes live show up to their live say hey trust me it means a lot i know for me going live i still get anxiety about it but knowing that people actually show up and want to hear what i have to say that means a lot to me so if you can show up and be there do it also this is really important if one of your favorite creators is working with a company other than swiping up if you see that that company Company has posted them on the company's page go comment on that picture let that company know that you appreciate the work that that creator did and showcase to the rest of us in the world because that tells the company like oh okay that that person subscriber or follower actually felt the need to take action and come to this page and like comment and all that stuff that means a lot so when you see me or any one of your favorites posting work that was featured on a company's page just go ahead and, and go comment something nice because it needs a lot and it definitely tells something to the companies that we work with. All right, y'all. So that is it for this video. I showcased these three wigs from Sensational. Let me know which one is your favorite. And also, as far as the free ways for you to show love to your favorite content creators and YouTubers, let me know which one is your favorite, which one that you already do on a regular basis, which one you're like, oh, I didn't think about that. I actually need to try that. Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. I really hope that you all are enjoying this new format to Small Talk Saturdays. I'm still kind of figuring it out, but I think I'm, I'm going to get better. And the things that we talk about are definitely going to get a little bit more personal, okay, in this month going into December. So I hope y'all are ready. <laughs> And if you're new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you want to see me in more textured wigs like this, check out my textured wig playlist. And you could just hit it right over here over to the side and also check out one of my latest videos. Thank you all so much for joining me for Small Talk Saturdays. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!